I'm Susan Leonard Kasmer. I'm here with Dice Resin. And on this little, just for the next minute or two, I want to show you how to make resin paper and how I use resin paper. I use it just for covering, for, you know, in my jewelry, in, uh, in my journal work. I actually have these gorgeous, this is just a small version of one of my gorgeous, large, you know, with the transparent papers. It's so transparent. And here, you know, this is where I just really kind of ripped the paper up, put images behind, and you really can see right through these papers when you're done, especially with tissues, you know, colored tissues and tissues. So I want to show you guys how to make this paper, um, you know, and in, in also in my jewelry work too, I use a lot of the resin, the resin paper. So this is my image pack that I love. I put together just a few colors and, and uh, symbolism, just different, different pieces that I love using in my work. And I have it in this pack. So check it out. Um, if, if you like any of this, what you're seeing, this is one of the papers from uh, my work. And what I do first for setup is I've got a studio sheet. I have different sizes. There's a small studio sheet. This allows my resin paper just to peel right up without having any worries, you know, about it getting stuck. So um, I usually will start with one. My whole studio table is filled with these larger ones if I'm pouring resin. I just put these in the background. It covers a lot of ground. And then I use the smaller ones, you know, just for small projects like this. So I already mixed up some resin for you. And um, I'm going to use the ice resin squeegee. This is brilliant. This actually um, I can use over and over again. Um, and it just really will, will push my, um, ice resin in the right direction. So I'm going to just go ahead and pour a little bit of resin down on here and just, you know, and then I just move it around, just kind of move it around. I can actually get resin off of my image because it's, I can peel it right off this paper when I'm ready. Now this, let it settle in a little bit. You could either wipe this off right away of your squeegee or wait until it's dry. And if I wait until it's dry, I just kind of get in here. Here's the thin layer here. And, you know, it just peels right up. So you can do either way. I usually wait until, you know, to peel it off when it's dry because it's less sticky. So that's going to be your option. Um, this is a piece that's already done. Once this resin sinks in, you're, you're going to really get some nice, nice, nice transparency. So that's the nice thing about it. You can see it on the work here. And um, I just did some papers. I have some papers done on the side, maps and things as I'm getting ready. You know, and just this is just different ways I use the tissue paper in my jewelry work as well. If you want marks, text, symbolism, any of that, you know, this this paper pack, this tissue pack is, is really going to be um, a pretty cool tool to use in your studio.